I'm Monique Devereaux from the Canterbury Earthquake Recovery Authority and I'm here with Dr Jan Kupek and we are discussing this rockfall area which has today been zoned red. Um, Dr Kupek, can you explain a bit about this area we're standing in? There's a fair amount of boulders here. They've come from behind us. What, what happened? Yeah, first of all Monique, uh, we're standing here in a reserve but what we want to try to show over here is this was an open area and I showed the uh, show and demonstrate the size of boulders that actually have come from our way above and not just the large one but also the little ones standing behind you so we have boulders from essentially small suitcases carry-ons to washing machines to essentially um, small SUV sized boulders all coming from way up there so what we have actually at the source which is back on the slope we have different bluffs of rock exposed on the hillside and the earthquake shook them peeled the rocks off the rocks were tumbling down and actually impacted in the area over here now what makes this area different to the other areas is because we have such a high density of boulders impacting in a relatively small area and what happens up the top um, the bluff sitting above a gully and the gully actually throws all the rocks into the gully which actually then spreads it down here that was confirmed by the geotechnical engineers on the ground and it was confirmed by the numerical analysis we have done now this is our reserve area but we have um, to my um, right hand side numerous houses and these houses were impacted by numerous um, seismic events but numerous boulders so if you have boulders the size behind you of a washing machine penetrating through the roof through the back door into bedrooms rolling through the bedrooms into the lounges and kitchen areas now obviously we looked at protection meshes such as fixing the rocks in place up on the hill um, and that generally means tying them down or meshing them to the spot we try to actually uh, look at protective works like fences or bunts further up but in the end what was decided that these number of boulders coming down no amount of fencing and bunting would actually prevent them or stop them actually from going over the edge and impacting the houses hence the area over here has been zoned red so what you're saying is that this area and what we are seeing in this very small space is indicative of what has happened possibly either side of us to the homes in absolutely that absolutely correct yes so Jan we're standing outside um, one of the properties that will now be um, red zoned because of the rockfall risk and this rock is possibly a good example of of what has happened here. Can you talk us through where that came from and, and what it did on its travels? Yep, look, that rock over here is probably in the order of 300 to 400 kilos. Um, and it's actually one of the small examples of rocks that actually impacted this part of behind me. This particular rock um, did fly through the air and we have traced its bounce mark way up to it actually where it sat initially. Mm. It did fly to the air, it impacted into the garage roof, came out to the front of the garage door out, made a fairly sizable crater in the pavement and they kept rolling another 15 meters to come in the position just roughly over here and it was pushed on the side in order to get access to the property. So that's where this particular boulder came okay. from. And although this is just one boulder in front of one house, is this indicative of what these homes have been through? Yes, um, we have, this is one of the smaller ones at the back of the, uh, this property over here. This property was struck by about 20 boulders of similar size, if not bigger. Um, and two of the larger ones actually did penetrate this uh, property itself. So the rockfall risk, the ongoing risk, is clearly the reason why this area is going to be red zoned from now on? Correct. So if you're looking at life safety risks, uh, properties such as this one behind me and others that have been zoned red, um, the life safety risk is actually very severe and hence it has been zoned in red.